Hey guys, welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be showing you the best Pokemon on Pokemon Legends Arceus uh, One for each area as you're progressing along the story starting with the Obsidian Fieldlands And I'll also be putting timestamps below if you want to skip to a certain area if it's easier that way And I'll also be adding a, a Sith bonus Pokemon if you don't know who your Sith team member is going to be because there's only five areas And I won't be adding any legendary Pokemon because you only get them at the end of the game With that being said, let's get straight into the video so the first Pokemon we're going to be talking about is Togekiss. Uh, even though Togekiss does have uh, five weaknesses, it's still a very strong Pokemon because it has very high special attack, special defense, and it still has uh, very high defense as well. So the moveset you want to be using on Togekiss is going to be Calm Mind, which raises your attack, defense, special attack and special defense on this game and that will set you up for most battles and uh, nothing should be really able to take uh, Togekiss down unless they counter you quite hard. If you don't want to take the uh, the setup route, uh, you could use a uh, Shadow Ball instead of uh, Calm Mind. That's also an option if you just want to go full on attack. Okay, so the two stab moves you want to use are number one, you want to use Air Slash, and number two, you want to use Moon Blast. They're both very strong attacks and you, they'll do a lot of damage to anyone, especially if you've used Calm Mind first. Now, the fourth move we're going to be using is Flamethrower because it's a very strong move and it has good coverage for the Ice and Steel type weaknesses. And the nature you're going to be going after is the modest nature if you want to hunt down specific natures which is up in special attack and less in attack because you won't be using your attack really because we're a special attacker and i'll show you how to get togekiss right now okay so you're going to need weird ear for this but you're going to want to come to the fieldlands camp in the obsidian fieldlands and uh, I'm just going to uh, go over on Braviary because it's a bit faster, but uh, you just have to come down this way. And then when you get to the bottom here, uh, there should be an orange rock over here. And uh, when you see that, um, I'm going to hop on Weird Ear now. Uh, you're going to want to go to it, jump once there, and then you'll be able to get all the way to the top. Once we do this, we just want to be uh, circling round all the way to the end of that cliff over there. So I'm just going to uh, make my way around here, uh, past all the trees and crystals. Be careful of the uh, Pokemon because they are all uh, aggressive up here, so they will attack you. Okay, so when you get to the end, you should see an apricorn tree next to two Staraptors, but I took them out in case they got in the way and tried to attack me while I was showing you how to get the Togekiss. So... You just want to drop down right behind onto this uh, ledge with a blue crystal and there'll be a Togekiss right there. You're going to need Feather Ball, Jet Balls or Wing Balls to be able to catch this but you just want to stand here and you just want to uh, pre-aim it uh, like this. Uh, you're going to want to wait till it comes around and when it gets to the far right side you just want to throw your Pokeball and it'll hit the Togekiss. Hopefully we catch it. Alright, we didn't catch it. Uh, oh. But uh, it, when it comes back around, uh, you'll be able to do it again or you can have your ball ready uh, for when it breaks out and you can just keep throwing them over and over and over again. You should be able to throw like five or six balls before it breaks away and goes around the rotation again. Okay, so we've caught the Togekiss. Uh, let's get on to the next Pokemon. Okay, so we're at the Crimson Mirrorlands and uh, we're going to choose a Lilligan as our next Pokemon. Uh, even though it does have six weaknesses and he's quad weak to fly in, which is pretty bad. Uh, it is one of the most broken Pokemon on this game and I'll tell you why right now. So Lilligan has an attack called the Victory Dance and it increases your attack, special attack, defense and special defense. But on top of this, it also raises your attack by a further 50% on all your attacks as well. So you're going to be starting off all your battles by using Victory Dance and it'll, uh, the Lilligant will be unstoppable when you do this. So the second move we're going to be learning is uh, Drain Punch, just in case they do get a big hit on you after you've used Victory Dance then you can get all that health back and it's stab move so it'll do a lot of damage. And the third move we're going to be learning is a Leaf Blade because uh, it's a physical attacker and it's a stab move so that'll do a lot of damage as well. And the fourth move we're going to be using with our Lilligan is Poison Jab, just for uh, coverage, just in case they have like a, a Grass type or anything like that. Okay, so the uh, nature we're going to be running with uh, Lilligan is uh, Adamant, because it decreases your special attack, which we don't really use at all, and it increases your attack, so it'll be even better in battle. 
So to get uh, Lilligant, we're going to need to evolve Petalil with a Sunstone. Uh, so we're going to want to come to the Bugbound camp in Crimson Maylands, and we're going to be making our way over here right now. So it's pretty much uh, just a straight line from here. You just want to keep running until you eventually get there. So now we're at the home of trials. Uh, there'll be uh, a Petalil just sitting here in the middle of the swamp. All you want to do is you just want to throw a Pokeball at it and catch it. And now you have your very own Lilligant. So let's move on to the third Pokemon. So we're in the Cobalt Coastlands and the Pokemon we're going to be using from here is Gyarados. Gyarados only has two weaknesses, so that's good. Uh, it's weak to Ruck and it's weak to Electric, but you're going to want to be careful with that Electric weakness because it's times four weak to it. So if you get hit by it, it's going to hurt a lot. So the moves we're going to be using on Gyarados is uh, Aqua Tail for the stab. We're going to be using Outrage because it's a really powerful move and it'll catch them dragon types out. It's Fang because that's also a really strong move for Gyarados because Gyarados is a physical attacker. And we're going to be using Bulldoze as well because uh, Bulldoze, uh, it may only have uh, 60 base power but uh, it slows the action speed of the other Pokemon down. So if you use it right, uh, you'll be able to attack twice in a row. So uh, you can't go really go wrong there. If you don't want to use Ice Fang, uh, the alternative to the Ice Fang is uh, also Iron Head, which will catch the Fairy types, Rock types and Ice types uh, out. The nature you're going to want to be running on Gyarados is uh, Adamant, which gets the attack boosted up and the special attack down because Gyarados is a, uh, a physical attacker, so you don't need your special attack. And I'm going to show you where to get Gyarados right now. So you're going to want to come over to the Coastlands Camp uh, at the end near Sands Reach first. And we're going to be hopping on Weird here and we're just going to be coming down here. Uh, do a little jump uh, on the Basque Legion and we're just going to be going in a straight line until we find the Gyarados. Uh, and uh, you'll see a few Mantikes and stuff along the way but if you just keep going around this area there should be a Gyarados. So it's right there. So we're just going to be oh, be careful. Uh, Gyarados is quite dangerous if it manages to hi oh, hyperbemia. Okay, and there we go. So when you get the Gyarados, uh, you'll have another addition to your team that is very strong, but it can be quite hard to catch sometimes. You can even go for the Alpha one, which is over here, but be careful because that one's quite strong and can hurt you a lot. Next up on the list, and personally my favourite in Alabaster Icelands, is Hisuian Zoroark. And the moves you're going to be running on Zoroark are Extra Sensory, at Shadow Ball. Uh, we're going to be running Slash, uh, because it's got a high crit ratio and uh, it's stab, even though Zoroark is a special attacker. And we're also going to be running Sludge Bomb, because that's quite a powerful move and you get some nice uh, stab bonus on it. Now Zoroark's only weak to dark type Pokemon, so you'll be able to take down most Pokemon without a problem. Now I was going to go with Modis, which uh, increases your special attack and lowers your attack, but I didn't want to uh, decrease the effectiveness of uh, Slash that we have on Zoroark, so I went with their Mild Nature, which increases your special attack and lowers your defense, so it's a bit risky, but I did decided to go with it anyway. And I'll show you where to get the Hisuian Zoroark slash Zoroark right now. So when you get to the Alabaster Icelands and go on the map, uh, I've put a star next to it if you just want to go and find it yourself. But uh, it is quite tricky to find, so I'll show you right now. Um, we're going to uh, hop on our way there, and uh, if you haven't unlocked a Braviary yet, um, then you won't be able to do this and you'll have to go through the cave. But I'm going to fly over to it because it's uh, quicker for you guys. So as you can see, there's a little hole in the floor up there. That's where we're going to go to. Uh, it's easy to miss, so you might not have known it was there. But I'm going to drop down and we're going to be sticking to the right side. And over here in this little cabin, uh, there's going to be a Zora in the middle of the room right here. So we're going to... Oh, it's seen us, but you just want to catch that. It's quite easy to catch. Uh, I'm just going to stun it real quick. Oh. Go behind it and just throw an Ultra Ball at it. And there's the Zorua. And to uh, evolve it, you just want to get it to level 30. And let's move on to the next Pokemon, shall we? 
Now the Pokemon we're going to be using in the Coronet Highlands is uh, Hisuian Gudra. Uh, this Pokemon's very strong because it's got a 150 base special defense and it's got uh, very high stats all around. Its lowest stat being its speed which still isn't really that bad and it's a uh, quite a strong dual typing of Dragon and Steel so it's only weak to fighting types and ground types. So the first move we're going to be using on uh, the Gudra is uh, Dragon Pulse because that's a very strong move and it's Stab. The second move we're going to be using is also Stab and it is Iron Head which is also a, a very strong move because there's not much difference between its attack and its special attack. The third move we're going to be using is uh, Ice Beam because uh, this Pokemon's very strong against uh, Dragon types so we've got uh, the Ice Beam mixed with the uh, the Dragon Pulse and the resistant to uh, Dragon type moves on the Steel side uh, makes it very good against Pokemon like uh, Giratina, Dialga, Palkia and all your late uh, game bosses. So the fourth move you're going to want to be running on the Gudra is uh, you've got two ways to go about this. Uh, you can have a coverage move like a, a strong fire type like Flamethrower or you could use Shelter which increases your defense, special defense, and it increases your evasiveness so uh, Pokemon are a lot more likely to miss attacks. Now the nature you're going to want to be running on this is the rash nature which increases your special attack and decreases your special defense because your special defense is just ridiculously high so uh, it, if it decreases a little bit you still won't tell, you'll still be able to tank hits like, a, like an animal. And I'm going to show you where to get the Hisui and Gudra right now. Now you're going to want to come to the mountain camp and put a waypoint on uh, these uh, bogs here uh, in the ancient quarry and we're going to be heading there right now. Uh, you just want to hop on your braviary because I'm guessing you've unlocked all the Pokemon by now. So we're just going to fly over and uh, it is quite far but uh, you'll get there eventually so I'll, I'll see you when we're there. So there's two ways you can go about this. You can catch one of the uh, the weaker Pokemon, which is the pre-evolved form of uh, Gudra, Sligoo. So you can just catch that, or you can catch uh, the actual Gudra, but it is an alpha Pokemon. It's very strong, it's very high level, so you might have some difficulties with that. It depends which one uh, you want to do. Uh, and let's get on to the final Pokemon, the bonus Pokemon, if you've made it this far. Now this last Pokemon, uh, I wasn't actually able to get my hands on this Pokemon because it was just too strong. Uh, every time I went to fight it, it would just wipe me out again and again and again no matter what team I used. Uh, I tried fighting it with Dialga, Palkia, Giratina, Darkrai, everything and nothing would work. It just wiped out my whole team and I couldn't even get an attack in. So the last Pokemon you're going to want to be using is Bidoof. Now Bidoof, uh, it, it's very strong, if you can get your hands on it, uh, you're going to be able to take any team, you're going to win every battle you play. So Bidoof is uh, it's resistant to nothing because no attacks can harm it, uh, so it can take on any Pokemon without any problems whatsoever, it just one hits every Pokemon. Now to get this Pokemon, uh, you're going to want to catch uh, all 242 Pokemon in the game. Uh, I don't believe you have to catch a Darkrai and Shaman for it to work, so 240 Pokemon when you've caught at least each one of them once. And then you're going to want to come to Coronet Highlands, and at the very top of the Temple of Sinnoh, uh, your phone's going to start beeping, and uh, it'll be Bidoof talking to you on the phone, and there'll be some uh, stairs that you walk up, and... If you get to the top of them stairs, you'll be in a, a big boss battle showdown against the god of Pokemon himself. Now the moves you're going to want to be using on Bidoof are Double Edge, because it's 180 base power. Uh, so with Stab you get a 270 base power on the move. Uh, Bidoof does hurt himself a little bit, but any Pokemon that, it gets, that gets hit by it uh, just instantly goes... Whoosh. You're also going to want to be using Shadow Ball, Thunder Ball and Ice Beam. It's just got, a, it can learn any attack basically. And uh, you're going to want to be going with a mild nature that gets your special attack up for them Shadow Balls, Thunder Bolts and Ice Beam. And it lowers your defenses but it doesn't matter because nothing, nothing can hurt him anyway. And that's the full team. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video and uh, hopefully you've got this team and you're never going to lose a battle ever again. And uh, thanks for watching. If you did enjoy it, leave a like and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.